Hello, Berkshire Hathaway Home Services sales executives for our video message of the week. All right, we are continuing our series on setting appointments and today we're gonna cover sphere of influence. Now, a little bit different than us covering expireds and for sale by owners, okay, when we talk about sphere, it is a little bit different and that's okay. And we're gonna cover some tips today that I think will really help you, again, internalize What's my main objectives when I'm dealing with my sphere? All right, let's jump right in. Objective one, you want to stay top of mind with your sphere of influence. What does that mean? Well, it means that anytime they're in a conversation about real estate or or friends are asking about, about real estate, who do they think of? They think of you. You know what? Because you're top of mind. You know, it's why we recommended AdWorks for you to utilize on their Sphere program because it helps you stay top of mind. Just one way to help you stay top of mind. But it's really important for you to stay top of mind with them. And so when they think about real estate, they always, and you want them to, think about you. Maybe it's simple as a question about what's going on in the marketplace or just real estate in general. You want them to pick up that phone and want to call you because you're a wealth of knowledge. Second objective, and I will say equally important as the first, and that is you want to build a depth of relationship. You know, uh, what do I mean by depth of relationship is you want to gather information about these individuals. Look it, they're not a sphere, they're a human being. They've got friends, they've got family, they've got likes, they got dislikes, they've moved to your area for some reason. Whatever the reason is, you want to understand these things. You want to be authentic, okay? And really premeditated way of building this information because guess what? You'll learn more and more about them as time goes on. You know what's exciting about this? Is the more information you learn, the more authentic and the better conversations you have in the future. Why? Because you really know me now and you're learning more and more about me. So when you call me, I hear this all the time from sales executives. Well, what do I say? I mean, God, if I'm gonna talk to them every month, what do I say? Well, guess what? If you ask good questions and you learn more about them, that gets easier. And over time, there will always be something to talk about because you have a depth of understanding of who they are as people first separate from them being a client of yours, all right? So a sphere is a great opportunity, one, okay, keeping you top of mind, and two, build that depth of relationship, all right? Um, Two tips here as it comes to help with this is start with gratitude calls. You know, we talk about what could we do, we gotta reach out to them. Well, how about a thank you? You know what, even if they haven't give you a direct referral, You know, let's say they've tried or they've talked to you about real estate or they're just a really good friend that has given you some great advice. Talk to them and you know what, just call and thank them. Say, you know what, I gotta tell you, I was thinking about you today and I really do appreciate your friendship and I appreciate that I always feel comfortable if I talk to you about real estate or what's going on in my career, you always give me an ear and you listen. A simple thank you. Powerful. Second along that same lines is mentor lunches. I've talked about this before. Is periodically, and to me, this can happen two to three times a year, um, where you get to them one-on-one and specifically the people that you see as your mentor and people who you feel can add value to your business and add value to insight of how to grow your business, take them to lunch. It's very specific, it's about that subject of how they're helping you, you're picking their brain because you believe in their expertise and their help and guess what? You're just getting feedback from them. What does it do? It makes them feel phenomenal because guess what? You see them here as your mentor, okay, or someone that you respect at that level. And two, another way of keeping you top of mind and certainly a powerful way that you're gathering more information on them as a person. All right, look, Sphere is a phenomenal opportunity, okay? 75% of your business eventually should come from your Sphere. And remember, you're growing your Sphere over time. So this group is your Sphere today, this group is your Sphere tomorrow. So the kicker is that's growing all the time and you can continually build your business. Guess what? You gotta keep those relationships and you gotta keep that communication on a consistent basis. Show them you're consistent and be authentic, 
and really show them that you care, okay, because you do, guess what? There'll be a wealth of business there for a very, very long time. Have a great week, everybody, and we'll talk to you next week. Bye-bye.